droplets. In a recurring and systematic manner, they fall. And with each collision onto the puddle it has formed below it, Arlo, you hear the sound reverberate across a seemingly spacious interior. You don't see this, however. Pitch black, as the darkness envelops your vision. Fingertips numb, nose stuffed, tongue dry. The only thing you can rely upon is your hearing. But then your ears pick up something else. Laughter, fireplace, life. Color gradually reintroducing itself to your vision as your nose picks up the aromatic scent of chicken. Still blurry, you look down to see two chicken drumsticks soaked in what appears to be a bowl of chicken broth. As your vision recovers, a hand from the right suddenly appears, waving itself right in front of your eyes, catching your attention. A 21-year-old female human, and about 5'6", five, 5'7", five, feet tall. Fair skin, bright blue eyes, and a golden blonde hair that's neatly uh, braided. A black grayish cloak around her shoulder, completely with a hood. Rapier tucked on one left side of the belt and as you look to your right arlo uh she says hey you're all right there you seem to squeeze up a little bit oh uh, what? what the fuck happened well we were attacked by bugbears if you remember that i i think i do where is grandpa as you look down arlo you look at your bowl again you see there's only one chicken drumstick left as you look to your left eating the chicken drumstick that was apparently was from your bowl. Oh, what the hell, Grandpa? You don't waste no good chicken. Ha 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 You see a man of his prime, 40 years ago. Uh, so I'm old, balding in the middle, wearing buttoned up shirt and plain old pants with sandals. At this moment, you suddenly hear footsteps going down the staircase. As you all look to your left, you see this elvish woman, blonde hair, very pointy features, uh, very elegant, but she seems to be wearing some sort of revealing clothing. Uh, she seems to be waving at someone. She giggles and runs off out the door. You suddenly hear another pair of footsteps going down the stairs. At that moment, uh, you see a tiefling. His face is looking a bit rocked up. It looks like he just got out of bed. Uh, his hair is still a bit messy, but he his ponytail is already long and tied. He's uh, he got this like confident look on his face, but uh, will swindle you the moment you get to know him. He approaches the guys, and well, one thing I can say about the girls in this town, they are pretty fun. What a fine-looking young man! What your name? I think we I, met him. Yeah, earlier. we we've met Grandpa. What? No, of course not. Grandpa. What is my name? Alright, this grandpa is a lost cause. Grandpa, I have another chicken. Okay, thank you. And I just uh, shove another chicken at his face. Uh, thank you very much, Arlo. <laughs> uh, I just remember your name now. At this moment, you see the door open. And for like the first few seconds, you see this silhouette of a big guy. Uh, as your eyes adjust to the light outside, you see... Uh, a 32 years old man. Six feet tall and 195 pounds. He has sharp brown eyes. He just come here with two young adventurers. My character is bronze dragonborn, around 18 years old, and too short for the dragonborn. Always wearing a bracelet with face ornament and elk. She's always wearing blue clothes. Next to that hunky figure, you see one other figure, a male, with this kind of messy white hair. You see the glistening kind of grayish, bluish color of eyes. What appears to be human, but then you notice there is a slight pointed ear. And you notice this is probably a half-elf, wearing a chainmail. On his back, you see uh, like just one single war pick with a shield like covering. Probably still young, and you see he's kind of looking around slightly. Almost as if he's lost, but not really. Probably just the way he is. Uh, those guys looks fun, don't you think? Young people, 
Come sit with us. Alright, Grandpa, you need to, like, I don't know, <laughs> say at le lesser words. Alright. See it. I mean, a father bringing two children to the bar scene. Yeah, that, that does not look like fun. I just wear my uh, hood and walk to the bar. Oh, hello. Are you looking for a table? Might as well join us. We have some empty seats, apparently. I will drag more seats towards our table. Uh, Maru, uh, let's just uh, head to the bar and get your drink. I really want to sleep. I will lock eyes with you and like, Hi! Hello! Oh. Hi! Oh, hello, hello. Hello, uh, young man! Hey, Grandpa, I think you're disturbing him. Oh, am I disturbing you? Um, not really, Grandpa, Okay, come sit with I... us. I'm sorry, um... He's a little bit socially inept. Uh, as you can see, he's... What? No, I only have dementia. What do you mean? Uh, my name is Mozzi. Nice to meet you. Your Excellency. Uh, thank you for your... Thank you for your kindness, Grandpa, but maybe next time, okay? There is always next time. I only can live for, for like four years. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Grams, uh, I, 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 I talk to him as we walk back to our own table. You know that not everyone in the world is your grandchildren, right? Wait, really? Oh, they're your comrades. I thought they were your children. Um, ladies, a human ca carrying sword with dragonborn and half elf really look like I'm the father of them, huh? Well, you know, adoption is always an option. Can you excuse me? For sure. Oh, the name's Cass, by the way. Cassia von Sutra. And yours is Geraximus, I heard? Just call me Geraximus. Or Gerax. Geraximus, do you know those people? Geraximus, don't talk with stranger. Mm -hmm. This is one of your lessons too, young adventurer. You need to communicate with fellow adventurer for some information or maybe some help. How can you be so friendly with them, Graximus? We just met them like a few seconds ago. Consider it as my experience in, in yeah in the field, okay? As you approach the bar, you see the previous guy who put his hood up from the other table and walked to the bar. The barkeep goes up to you. Yes, yes, um, what can I get you? Uh, we won, uh... I was here first, Mr. Bartender. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm gonna serve him, um, and then I'll, I'll, I'll get to you, okay? Um, give me your, uh... Hey, bartender, where's my wine? Lady. Maru, Maru, manners. Oh, fine. Thank you, Mr. Um, Graxmas. Sure. I, um, I, I assume, I assume uh, in the back there, in the table, is your friend also? Oh, um, yeah, they they are. We travel together. Uh, you have a fine party there, even though I don't know what that grandpa do. In I will do a backflip. You suddenly see the Grams just like looks at you guys, kind of look back a few seconds back and forth, and suddenly you just see this Grandpa just do a backflip <laughs> successfully with ease. I, am I seeing things? Is did he just really did a backflip? Yeah, they are they are interesting people. Grandpa, I can't take my eyes off of you for one minute. Come come, come here. I know I'm quite captivating. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Do, do it again. Guys, do don't, don't you do not enable him to do this kind of stuff. Am I am I the only one who's who's worried about the well-being of this old man? I actually need to sit down. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you see the chicken, the entire chicken drumstick. He didn't even like tear it off. The entire chicken drumstick just falls off from his mouth. Bloop. <laughs> Did you even chew that, Grandpa? <laughs> That's <messed up. laughs> right at that moment, like, suddenly the door just opens wide, hits to the side. All of you guys turn all your heads and see this woman in tears. She's like, Someone, please save my Ricky. Are you an adventurer? Are you? Please, my boy Ricky, they took him away. I, I chucked both of my strong ale and she's like, <laughs> Uh, yes, yes we are, ma'am. Where, where's the trouble? Yesterday night, my boy Ricky, 
He likes to play in our front row. And then these five little creatures just grabbed him and carried him out. They took him. I tried to catch up with them, but they were just too fast. Tell me what's the creature look like again? This sounds like fun. They're small with big eyes and big head. And they're also very fast. Those halflings again. I don't think it's halfling, Grandpa, but you got a good sense of humor. But I think those are goblins. You kind of look outside the tavern, as you look to the left, to the direction where she's pointing at least, you see this huge road. It's the main road. Where she was pointing at was literally like outside the gate of Small Beak Village. Are you ready to go, children? Well, I don't know. Cass, you, uh, you good to go? Always. Yes. Maximus, are we going as well? Yeah, yeah. You guys need to learn. Okay, what's your name again? And she kind of looks at both of you. I'm Maru. I'm Ravel, and this is Maru. We'll come back here and we will celebrate with a bunch of wine. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> I guess, sure, I guess that will work. Adventure! Adventure! <laughs> You see Gramps just standing in front of the footsteps. He's like, I will pick up some dirt and lick it. Ooh. I will also do that with Grandpa. Tastes like coffee in the morning. Ooh. Oh. Mm, I taste goblin, Grandpa. You know what this is? What is that? Adventure! Adventure! May I start flanking around the area and keeping my low body, hunching body down even more stealthy. I think it would be best if you stay here with me, Grandpa. Oh, I'm gone. Bye-bye. Oh, okay. Previously, the Grandpa's hunch was like 60 degrees. Now it's like 30 degrees closer to his legs. He's just gone from this old crooked man to this old crooked man who's trying to stealth. Mozzie. With that, you suddenly see that the old Grandpa that was once in front of you is now... <laughs> Still there. Uh, he's, he's he did really bad. <laughs> oh, my back. Can you can you massage me for a second? Do be careful, princess. It could be a trap. Oh look, a paper bag. Oh, 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 man. Uh, oh. Can somebody tell them, Grandpa, to <laughs> come down here? It's not safe. <laughs> What the fuck was that?